Games, and I'm very excited to be your host for today. Coming up on this episode, Lenny makes caramel bread popcorn, Stella interviews world superbike champion Steve Martin, and Emma shows us how to make the perfect corner bookmark. This is MTV. Let's start with Alex and Alessia. This is MTV's MTS's meme review, fine edition. Eight out of ten, a classic meme, or fine, shall I say? I give it a four out of ten. I mean, there are just too many questions. Why does it fly? Where does it fly to? Does it fly the same place that the lawnmower meme does? Ten out of ten. This is a classic meme and vine. He has both the power of God and anime on his side. Ten out of ten, buddy. I agree. She's been pushed so far past the edge. I do not blame you. Eight out of ten. Free Shavaka do. 11 out of 10. It has to be better than Hurricane Tortilla or look at all those chickens. Even if they were roommates. Winner of the vinyl competition today, the meme vinyl competition today, is Free Shavaka do. Thank you. Hi everybody. So today I'm going to make pancakes. So you need this. First waiting flour, a cup, a margarine cup, two eggs, egg whisk, and sugar, milk, and a bowl. So first, you need to put in the two eggs. So tilt it into the side and leave it good. So next you add a little bit of milk. Next, you add in these two cups of flour. Now you mix in that first cup of flour. So my first cup is mixed in. Now it's time to put in my second cup. So my second cup skin, the set is very thick. So now I'm going to add a bit more milk. I just mix in the milk. So now, now it's really good like that. Now the last ingredient add the sugar. Now it's time to cook. This is what the four Pancakes look like. Now you can add any topping you want. Those pancakes look delicious, but pancakes will have to wait because next up is Ruby's Holiday Adventure.
to make a really cute corner bookmark. To make the bookmark, you'll need one square piece of paper, 15 by 15 centimetres is ideal, and anything you want to use to decorate the bookmark. First, you want to turn your paper over and rotate it so that it's in a diamond shape. You then want to fold the bottom corner up to the top. Bring the two corners on the bottom up to the top to make a smaller diamond shape. From here you want to open up the folds and bring one of the top flaps down as shown. Then bring the two bottom flaps over and tuck them in to make your bookmark. Here are some examples of different ways you can decorate the bookmark that are musical theatre themed. is so much easier than I thought. Now it's time for an interview by Stella. Hi, my name is Stella Martin and today I'll be interviewing my dad, Steve Martin, who raced in the World Superbike Championship and won, World Endur and won a World Endurance Champion. Welcome, Steve. What bike did you race on first? Well, Stella, I started uh, off riding around in paddocks and uh, riding dirt bikes. Um, but my first real racing and where I got involved into it, uh, in the road side of things, was um, a Suzuki. I got a Suzuki and that's where I took off uh, my road racing career on. Did you come first in any races? Well, I managed to get uh, first a few times. I won um, the Australian Superbike Championship, um, some Victorian Championships, South Australian Championships, um, Australian Trials Championships. I won quite a few different uh, events, so I was lucky to win a few races. What did you want to be when you were a kid? Well, when I was a kid, I, I thought that I wanted to be a, a cabinet maker. So I literally um, got a job as a, an apprentice and I became a cabinet maker, and um, that was what I wanted to be. Did you always dream of being a Superbike World Champion? Well, funnily enough, uh, it was always a bit of a dream of mine, but I didn't think that it could happen. I really didn't. Until one day, I was at work when I was doing my cabinet making, getting covered in sawdust, and I thought, there's got to be a better life than this. So at that point in time, I tried my hardest and worked every day to becoming a professional motorbike racer. You've been very successful. What are the moments that like you just can't forget? Oh, lots of highlights, lots of um, wins, even from when I was young, but uh, getting on the podium in the World Superbike Championship, um, boy, that was certainly a highlight of my career. So Steve, have you ever hurt, like, injured yourself? And how many hospitals have you been in around the world? A lot of hospitals I've been in around the world, but there is one particular that um, I remember that was in uh, France at Madney Corps and I had a big, big crash off the start line in uh, one of the races there and um, I went to hospital there and it was the luckiest thing that ever happened to me because they found out that I had um, cancer and uh, they managed to save me from that. So don't let anyone tell you that motorbike riding is dangerous. It saved my life. What was one of the worst moments in your career? That's pretty easy, Stella. Uh, I remember being at Phillip Island 2004, a uh, couple of laps to go. I just about won the race. There was thousands of fans there and uh, I was already dreaming of victory. Oh, he's oh. broken his bike! Oh. oh, Martin's blown it! Oh, how unlucky is that? That's a man who lost third place in the first race at Valencia when his bike expired with two laps to go. An, an identical replica situation develops for him here with two laps to go. That's Steve Martin loses the race. My bike blew up on the last lap and uh, that was uh, really frustrating. And Dad, I really hate it when you give me advice, but have you got any advice for the kids out there? Well, first of all, Stella, I know we're in lockdown, but school is really important. It's something that you can take with you through your whole life, so make sure you, you work hard. And the other thing is, never give up. Give whatever you're doing, everything you've got, and you'll be sure to get a good result. I, um, thanks Steve, I mean Dad, I mean, good interviewing you. Bye.
hope to see you next time.